The following is an instructional video designed to provide new soldiers of the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment The Old Guard with an example of how to properly execute standing manual in the ceremonial certification testing process. All candidates are required to test this portion. Task. Conduct a standing manual test for ceremonial certification. Condition. Given a candidate in ceremonial uniform with appropriate equipment and ceremonially certified sponsor. Standard. The candidate must score a minimum of 80%, 11 out of 13, to receive a go. If a candidate scores below 80%, he or she will receive a no-go and have to retest at a later date. Each minor performance measure will be tested three times. To receive a go for a minor performance measure, the candidate must perform it correctly two of three times. The candidate must pass two of two major performance measures on all tests. Candidates that fail a major performance measure will immediately receive a no-go and have to retest at a later date. All performance measures will be conducted in accordance with TC 3-21.5, January 2012, and TOG Sword and Saber Certification Handbook. This is the grade sheet that will be used to assess each candidate's performance. The two major performance measures are Uniform Ceremonial Composure The minor performance measures will be discussed throughout the remainder of the video. The candidate will stand at the position of attention with sword or saber sheath. The grader will give each preparatory command, pause to conduct any necessary checks, followed by standby and the preparatory command again before finally giving the command of execution. During the test, each command will be given three consecutive times by the grader with exception of draw and return sword saber. The test will begin with three draws and two returns, with the last return coming at the end of the test. For the purpose of this video, each command will only be executed once. Upon hearing draw, the candidate will keep their head straight and reach across their body with their right arm at a 90 degree angle and grasp the handle of the sword or saber. The right forearm is parallel to the marching surface and a fist length from their body. Their left arm will extend behind them along the sheath with all fingers extended and the thumb tucked. The palm should be perpendicular to the marching surface. Both shoulders are square to the front and present a flat appearance. Sword. Upon the command of execution, sword or saber, the candidate will unsheath their sword or saber and bring it out to a 45 degree angle from the center of their body and a 45 degree angle above the marching surface and a straight line with their right arm. The flat side of the sword or saber will be perpendicular to the marching surface. The candidate's left arm will move back to the position of attention along the seam of their pants in a C-fist. This is considered count one of the two count movement. During count two, the candidate will rotate their arm down into the carry position while keeping their elbow straight. The sword or saber will rotate back onto the candidate's right shoulder as the arms drop to the seam of their right pant leg. At the conclusion of the second command, the candidate is now in the carry position with the back edge of their sword or saber tucked into their shoulder. Common mistakes include not having the right forearm parallel to the marching surface or one fist length from their body, not having the left hand flat with the thumb tucked or the left arm straight, taking more than two counts to extend the sword of saber out and going to the carry position, having the right arm bend when lowering the sword of saber to the carry position. Upon hearing return, the candidate will keep their head straight and bring their right arm across their body in a smooth motion keeping the edge of the sword of saber perpendicular to the marching surface. The right arm will be bent at a 90 degree angle, one fist length from the candidate's body and parallel to the marching surface with the hilt resting in the right hand. The sword of saber will be straight up and down with the flat edge parallel to the candidate's body. Lastly, the candidate's shoulders are square and facing to the front. So Upon the command of execution, sword of saber, the candidate will turn their head to a 45 degree angle and look down at 45 degrees while reaching back with their left arm to grab the sheath. Simultaneously, the candidate will rotate their sword of saber using their right thumb, allowing it to fall against their left hip. The candidate's right hand will hold the handle in between their middle and ring fingers with their hand flat and thumb tucked. Once the candidate seats the tip of the sword of saber in the sheath, they will slowly and smoothly insert the sword of saber until their right forearm is within one fist length of their body. The left arm and hand will be in the same position as draw extended behind the candidate with fingers flat and thumb tucked. Shoulders will remain square and parallel to the front. Once the candidate is in position, the grader will conduct their checks. 
the command ready cut will be given, ready, at which point the candidate will push the sword of saber backwards and release the sheath with their left hand. The candidate will then snap to the position of attention. Common mistakes include not having the right forearm parallel to the marching surface or one fist length from the body, not having left hand flat with the thumb tucked or the left arm straight. Sword of saber is not straight with the flat side parallel to the candidate's body on return. Excessive movements while sheathing the sword of saber. Upon hearing present, the candidate raises their sword of saber up to the present position in one count. The present position for an officer is centered on the chest with the flat part of the saber parallel in the marching surface, three fingers from the chin to the hilt, and an angle of 30 degrees from the base of the saber to the tip. The position of an officer is centered on the chest with the flat part of the sword parallel to the marching surface, one fist high from the chin to the candidate's hand, and an angle of 30 degrees from the base of the sword to the tip. Upon the command of execution, arms, oh. the candidate will lower their sword of saber in a smooth two-count movement. The sword of saber hilt will be against the candidate's leg along the gold stripe with the flat part of the sword of saber parallel to the marching surface. The sword of saber will be straight and perpendicular to the candidate's body with a tip no lower than four inches and not to exceed six inches. The grader gives the command order arms and the candidate executes. The grader then checks the tip height and flare of the sword or saber. Common mistakes include sword or saber not centered on the chest at a 30 degree angle or with the hilt hand at the proper distance from the chin. Sword or saber not lowered in two counts. Sword or saber is below four inches or above six inches. Sword or saber is flare to the right or left. A flare is when the sword of saber is angled in towards the candidate or out away from the candidate. The candidate will begin with their tip down in the order position. Present. Upon hearing present, the candidate raises their sword of saber up to the present position in one count. The present position for officer or NCO does not change from the present from the carry. Upon the command of execution, arms, oh. the candidate will lower their sword of saber in a smooth two-count movement. The sword of saber hilt will be against the candidate's leg along the gold stripe with the flat part of the sword saber parallel to the marching surface. The sword of saber will be straight and perpendicular to the candidate's body with the tip no lower than four inches and not to exceed six inches. The grader gives the command, oh. order arms, and the candidate oh. executes. The grader then checks the tip height and flare of the sword of saber. Common mistakes include sword of saber not centered on the chest at a 30 degree angle or with the hilt hand at the proper distance from the chin. Sword of saber not lowered in two counts. Sword of saber is below four inches or above six inches. Sword of saber is flare to the right or left. The grader will pick up a mark time for this task and will call the preparatory command eyes on their left foot, followed by dead step and completing this task with the command of execution right. right. Upon the command of execution, right, the candidate will snap their head to the right to a 45 degree angle, simultaneously lowering their sword of saber in a smooth two count motion. Their sword of saber hilt will be against the candidate's leg along the gold stripe with the flat part of the sword of saber parallel to the marching surface. The sword of saber will be straight and perpendicular to the candidate's body with a tip no lower than four inches and not to exceed six inches. Once the grader completes their check, they will give the command Follow dignitary to the front, automatic order, to put the candidate back in the position of order arms. Common mistakes include, candidate fails to move their sword of saber up on the command eyes. Candidate moves their sword of saber before snapping their head. Sword of saber not lowered in two counts. Sword of saber is below four inches or above six inches. Sword of saber is flared to the right or left. The candidate will begin with their tip down in the order position. Upon hearing the command of execution rest, the candidate snaps to the parade rest by moving their left arm behind them and placing it in the small of their back, with fingers extended and flat. The candidate's left foot simultaneously slides one step to the left, just wide enough for the grader to fit one foot between the candidate's feet. Common mistakes include feet too wide or narrow, sword of saber is below four inches or above six inches, sword of saber is flared to the right or left. The candidate will begin in the parade rest position. Upon hearing the command of execution, attention, 
The candidate snaps to attention by moving their left arm back along their leg with a C-fist. The candidate's left foot simultaneously slides one step to the right until both feet are back together. Common mistakes include Sword of Saber is below 4 inches or above 6 inches. Sword of Saber is flared to the right or left. The candidate will begin with their tip down in the order position. Ceremonial at ease is a three count movement with a long smooth lowering of the Sword of Saber on a notional count four. Upon hearing the command of execution ease, the candidate snaps the parade rest by moving their left arm behind them and placing it in the small of their back with fingers extended and flat. The candidate's left foot simultaneously slides one step to the left, just wide enough for the grader to fit one foot between the candidate's feet. This move to parade rests makes up count one. Count two has the candidate move their sword of saber in front of their body with the hilt around waist length. Sword of saber straight down with a flat side parallel to the candidate and the right hand covering the top of the hilt in a cupped fashion. The thumb of the candidate will be tucked behind the hilt with the four fingers in line and extended down the front of the hilt. Count three requires the candidate to bring their left arm back around to the front and grab the right wrist with the left thumb tucked behind the right wrist. The final movement to this task is a slow, controlled lowering of the tip of the Sword of Saber to the ground in between the candidate's feet. Common mistakes include Candidate rushes three counts, feet too wide or narrow, excessive movement of the Sword of Saber before or during lowering. The candidate will begin in the ceremonial at ease position. Upon hearing the command guard, the candidate slides their right hand down and grasps a handle while maintaining their left hand grasping their right wrist. The candidate then moves to the position of parade rest by moving their left arm behind them and placing it in the small of their back and moving their right arm into the order position. Upon hearing the command of execution, attention, the candidate snaps to attention by moving their left arm back along their leg with a C-fist. The candidate's left foot simultaneously slides one step to the right until both feet are back together. Common mistakes include Moving early or late after preparatory command is given. Not moving in two counts to get to the position of parade rest. Sword of Saber is below four inches or above six inches. Sword of Saber is flared to the right or left. The candidate will begin in the order position. Upon hearing the command right, the candidate flips their Sword of Saber up to the carry position. Once the command of execution face is given, the candidate turns their right foot 90 degrees, keeping their heels together. On the next count, the candidate turns their whole body to the right and closes their left foot onto the right foot. The grader will finally tell the candidate to order saber. Common mistakes include not going to the carry position on the preparatory command, pivoting instead of taking steps, not keeping the heels together. The candidate will begin in the order position. Upon hearing the command left, the candidate flips their sword of saber up to the carry position. Once the command of execution face is given, the candidate turns their left foot 90 degrees, keeping the heels together. On the next count, the candidate turns their whole body to the left and closes their right foot onto their left foot. The grader will finally tell the candidate to order sword. Common mistakes include not going to the carry position on the preparatory command, pivoting instead of taking steps, not keeping the heels together. The candidate will begin in the order position. Upon hearing the command about, the candidate flips their sword of saber up to the carry position. Once the command of execution face is given, the candidate brings their left foot in front of their right toe to form a T on count one. On count two, the candidate rotates their right foot 180 degrees to form a backwards T, with the right heel centered on the left foot. Finally, the candidate rotates their entire body to the right and closes their left foot onto the right foot for count three. The grader will finally tell the candidate to order saber. Common mistakes include not going to the carry position on the preparatory command, pivoting instead of taking steps. The candidate will begin in the order position. The grader will give three carries and three orders without pausing. On the final order, the grader will emphasize the enunciation. Carry sword. Order sword. Carry sword. Order sword. Carry sword. Order sword. Upon the final command of execution, saber, the candidate drops their sword of saber to the order position. Common mistakes include sword of saber is below four inches or above six inches. 
Sword Sabers flare to the right or left. Upon completing this test, candidates will move to marching, which is part four of this instructional series. For any questions on this event, speak with your sponsor or your ceremonies and special events team.